this analysis series is actually a fun way to actually experiment other game place mechanics for for a game. But little by little, I'm regretting to choose Kenshi Impact as my first one. In this analysis, I'm just going to cover basic gameplay aspect of a game and how can you approach it for mobile. Now, like I said on the pre-game analysis of Genshin Impact, um, I know that Genshin Impact is a mobile game actually made by using Unity, but we can actually experiment in how can we acquire these same mechanics for future games or just for our personal projects. Personally, I have found like a lot of walls doing this let us analyze exactly a little gameplay that i have now why don't you pay attention and how the camera actually moves around the player if you're idle you can actually move around the player up and down to move the player you have to use the joystick you can move left and right without moving the camera and you can actually rotate um the player when you're moving with the joystick but at the same time you can actually move now in this past section we're seeing how with the ui button she's attacking for this analysis i'm gonna use one attack i'm still have no idea how to you to do like a combo based melee attack so one attack one approach just basic understanding and how you will approach this next up let us see how she interacts with the item you're very close to the item a UI pops up in front of you, you press it, and then you acquire the item. Now, you may be wonder there's a lot going on, but actually, this actually a simple way to see it. You can actually tackle this in a PC manner, and you'll do it like that. If you pay attention carefully in how the camera actually moves around the player, this actually can be easily approached using Cinemachine on Unity. If you, when you download Cinema, Cinema Machine package, you have access for some scene example, and one of them has an example called a Cinemachine free look camera with a collider on it. And if you actually play around with this um, scene, as I move my, my mouse okay, up and down around the player can okay, move left right down and if I move forward and move my camera I actually rotate the player so in a sense this is how the camera feels on Genshin Impact and this is maybe the same camera that they actually use on the game since I'm using the new input system um, for the player movement, all I have to do is just apply a simple joystick on mobile and it actually has to work. Now, let me show you play. I'll hit play. I'm moving my player. This is my second hand. I'm not using the keyboard. This is my gamepad, so I'm not using it. See? The other one is moving the mouse, I cannot, so I can show you. This is the mouse, joystick behavior, done. Now, this is the hiccup slash roll that I hit when I was playing with it. Now, with the new input system, you can actually say the same thing for the camera and mouse input can be also be the same as the touch input. Now, logically, this is actually a nice approach, but when I was actually Thinking about it, I knew that was gonna encounter some issue. Let me show you up. I'm gonna add the new touch screen. Let me hit play. Look what happens when I press the screen of the mobile. Camera works. Oh, nice. It feels like in the game. So, like, very exciting. But I was actually aware that what I'm gonna show you next is gonna be happening. If I try to move the joysticks, both input actually process why this happens now touch input and ui input don't actually mix well uh, on mobile the reason is since both input are part of the screen the system thinks you're touching the screen without knowing that you're just touching a ui input the ui is part of the screen so at the same time it's crossing the inputs and this is the reason you have to 
for the behavior. Now, in the past, this happens a lot with the old info system with uh, with how you manage the camera. The way that you did it before is by creating some type of dead zones, and then by creating these dead zones, then the finger or the swipe or the touch impulse knows that from that point forward, you can acquire the same position. I have done it in the past by putting a UI panel and using a script and detailing him and saying to him that once you press the panel, this is the finger you're gonna follow, meaning that the panel can be in the whole screen, but since I'm just touching the panel, this is where the input is gonna be. And the joystick is not be the, the, um, acquiring that input. I'm gonna put the video where there was this. Uh, I actually learned about this. The reason I have a hiccup is that that approach I was not using Cinemachine. Cinemachine is actually a camera system that is already giving you some inputs. You have only have to change if you're using the mouse on the new input system, and that's it. Now I have never find a material that allows you to use the Cinemachine in a mobile environment so i have to see how can i hard code it some structure in cinemachine and acquire and creating that dead zone for it so it's gonna take me a while to actually figure out but it's just gonna take it little by little and see if the approach to creating dead zone actually works if they can do it i can do it or there is a way if they can do it there is a way the only reason that Yes, I actually am regretting a little bit of use and um, picking up Genshin Impact, but at the same time, this is how you can learn. And if I have found a way to actually have this on mobile and I can put in practice for other games, you have no idea how many ideas I can have on mobile. The same way in PC I can have it on mobile with no problem whatsoever. So that is why I actually want to see how this gameplay mechanics can be built on mobile. Thank you for hearing me out. Until the next one, have a lovely day.